Welcome into the Ace Craftsman Workshop. We're with expert handyman, Sean Bueno. Sean, I'm as guilty of it as anyone else. I like to go out and I buy bottled water, but you have a more earth-friendly option for us here today. Absolutely, it's much greener to put a water filter system in your home. It's a lot easier than you think and it doesn't cost that much money. So you're gonna get better tasting water, healthier water, and you're not putting all that plastic back in the landfill. I'm excited to quench my thirst, but first, we need some supplies. Our filtering system, PVC hose that came with it. We need a marker to mark out where we want the faucet, some Teflon tape, plus some safety gear and a razor blade. And finally, a drill with a quarter inch mandrel drill bit to take us through stainless steel. The first step is to locate where on the sink we want our faucet to go. Sean does a quick check under the cabinet to make sure nothing would block the hole, and then X marks the spot. Okay, so now we're ready to drill into the stainless steel. I'm All just right. wondering if you were gonna let me do it. We'll give you a chance. We'll just see if the crew wants to hang out for another week after Another this, week you know? while we wait for a new yeah, sink to come here? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Sean. Sean safety gears up and drills the hole very slowly and carefully using the mandrel drill bit. The next step, uh, let's go ahead and install the faucet. We prep the faucet by setting up the base, connecting the spout, and screwing the trim piece on. After that, we make sure the faucet is straight and the gasket's in place, and we tighten it onto the sink. Now it's time to get the filter head and the filter installed on the side of the cabinet. We'll take the filter off. We won't need this now. And this, this is the replaceable part of this? It is. This should get replaced about once a year for this type of model. The side wall of the sink base, which is going to be this right side near the faucet, is going to be a perfect spot to install this filter and the filter head. We just want to make sure there's enough room below that filter so that we can take it on and off. We switch over to a regular drill bit and use two screws to hold this filter in place. Read the directions, because you may need more screws for your filter model. It's starting to look a little bit like a water filtration system, but the most important thing is obviously the water. Yeah. So let's hook up some water hose. So this coupling here that's connected to the hose, yeah. this came in our kit, and this is what gets hooked up to the water supply. Two things to keep in mind for this step. At home, turn off your water and make sure you connect the hose to your cold water supply. Next, Sean cuts the hose with a razor blade and connects the other end to the filter head. Once you put that water line into the filter head, there's a locking mechanism which locks and clamps down on the water line. Ryan, we've got two more connections to make. So we have a compression fitting that came with our kit, and we have to make sure that we put the compression nut over the tube. Then we have our compression fitting that sits on the tube below the nut. Now what's it mean by compression fitting? Well, it's compressed onto the actual hose because there's water pressure built up all the time because it's a water supply. So once the water fills this tube up, that pressure helps this nut lock in place. We take the excess hose and connect it to the faucet. You did a great job on the compression fitting where it meets the faucet. Now it's time for the last connection for the filter system. Okay, go ahead. Push it in. Push it in and see if it pulls out. Nope. And it doesn't. Nice job. Alrighty. So go ahead, put the cap on the filter head. And the most important part of the filter system is the actual filter. Yeah. Sit it up into the filter head and then twist it and lock it in place. Ryan, we completed the install of the filter, turned the water back on, and now you will have an opportunity to get filtered water. You can install a filter like this for around $50 and in less than an hour. And even though you'll need to replace the filter on a regular basis, this intermediate project will still save you money in the long run. All right, Sean, well, we made our sink a little greener today and we're gonna save a little bit of green because we're not gonna buy bottled water anymore. Shh.